We need to talk about this chair. This is the Hibada E3 ergonomic office chair and I've been testing it alongside the Hinomi H1 Pro that I reviewed about two years ago. And I can tell you, having used a proper ergonomic chair for the last two years, it makes a massive difference. And this is from someone who spent most of his time sitting on a 10 year old Ikea chair that you sometimes see in these videos. That's not a good idea, which is why it's worth investing in a proper chair. However, you don't have to spend a fortune on them. And that means you don't have to buy a particular brand that everyone keeps telling you to buy. Now Hibada were kind enough to send me the E3 and they are sponsoring this video but they've not had any say on the contents of the video and I'm comparing it against the Hanomi H1 Pro which is just over there which is why I keep pointing over there. This is a completely fair comparison one of them will be for you. Let's try and work out which one it is. Oh and spoiler I'm very impressed by both of these chairs but they both have their advantages. So the Hibada E3 is priced at around £500, which is roughly the same price as the H1 Pro from Hinomi, and it's a lot less than you can spend on an ergonomic office chair, as you'll have found if you've done your research. You're clearly watching this video because you've been thinking, I don't want to spend £1,000, £1,500, £2,000 on an office chair. That's bonkers. The good news is you don't, but the big question is, is it worth it? The first thing is the setup process, which is really straightforward. It comes in a big box and you do have to put it together, but it should take you about 15 minutes, 30 minutes maximum. It took me a little while because I was filming myself doing it, obviously, but there were no problems. There were no missing bits. They even give you spare screws, which is, well, it's just a dream for someone like me who keeps dropping screws. And anyway, trust me, it's really really easy to set up. It's also BIFMA, B-I-F-M-A certified. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it, that should ensure durability and the quality of the components as well. And I must say, they feel fantastic. They're a notch above the H1 Pro in that respect. There's lots of metal, the plastic feels good, and when it was all clicking together, it felt nice and solid. But the building it is the boring part, unless you enjoy doing that, which I kind of do, I find it quite therapeutic. What's more interesting is the features, and there are so many on the E3. Firstly, the E3 offers eight-way adjustable lumbar support, which lumbar, lumbar, I can never get that. It's that thing that you might have on your car seat where it can kind of dig into the bottom of your back, which sounds horrible, but it's not. It, it's designed to make your back as straight as possible. Eight-way adjustable, which it's enough. It's even got these 40-degree adjustable wings, which kind of, grip around your waist and you don't get that on the H1 Pro and it's very, very comfortable. It really feels like this chair is gripping you and making you sit properly. It just makes this chair incredibly versatile for different postures and people with different back support needs. I'm quite lucky because my back at the moment, touch wood, is okay, but I can imagine if you've got issues with your back, having all of this support here is going to be really, really handy. And these wings, sorry to keep going on about them, but they are incredibly enjoyable to use. They're very useful if you just sitting there because they hold you in place or if you're leaning back and having a bit of a rest which we do need to do occasionally these things oh they just grip you it's oh this is so nice just give me a minute I really got used to the armrests on the H1 Pro, which are adjustable, but they're not 6D adjustable, which is what we have on the E3. So they go up, down, these bits go up, they swing out, they swing back in, and you can push them out as well like that. So you can really get these to be just as comfortable as you need. And a little tip, when you're sitting at a desk, the armrests should be roughly at the same height as the desk, which means your arms are nice and at this kind of right angle for typing. I'm definitely not a doctor though, so do not take anything I say as medical grade advice. The headrest is fully adjustable as well on the E3, so you can go up and down. You can tilt it backwards and forwards as well, and you can push it backwards and forwards. So you can get it just perfect for when you're typing away, working, or again, when you're having just a little rest, just a little rest. That joke's wearing thin, and I'll, I'll stop it. The H1 Pro headrest is very similar, but it doesn't have quite as many levels of adjustability as this one. They both have the ability, however, to move the backrest up and down. So once again, you can get it just perfect. Next up, we have the reclining and comfort, which means, oh, once again, I've got to recline and get comfortable. What a shame. The H1 Pro has a 136 degree recline, whereas the E3 has 140 degrees. And that means, unlock it first. You can recline and it goes back 
almost it, it feels like too far it feels like you're, you're gonna go but you don't because you just you just rest like this and it has a footrest Now in terms of ergonomics and long-term comfort, the E3 has an auto gravity sensing chassis, which means it's adjusting itself based on your body weight and posture changes. So literally this chair is doing stuff while you're sitting on it, which is again, very reassuring. And once again, means that your posture is being taken care of, providing you don't keep leaning forward and doing. Basically, if you get this chair set up and it does take a little while to you know, get all these bits and pieces perfect for you. But once you've done that, that auto gravity sensing stuff means that you're always sitting perfectly. And that's also because of the T-shaped support system which is built into this chair, which means your back and your neck, once again, is just all taken care of. And I'm in my 40s now, and I every time I get up, my body makes a new noise, and I just feel worse every day because things keep breaking. That is why I care about this stuff now. And again, because I've been sitting in an ergonomic chair for the last two years, I can honestly say it has changed my approach to my health. All this stuff that I'm talking about with the E3 and the H1 Pro, it might sound like marketing mumbo jumbo as they say, but it's not. It genuinely makes a difference. Just like the H1 Pro, the E3 is covered in breathable mesh and it's 16.5% breathable mesh if you're interested. And that means it helps reduce leg numbness during long-term use. So if you're sitting in these chairs for a long time, your legs aren't gonna go numb. And again, that's a good thing. But the big question is, why should you invest in an ergonomic chair? As I mentioned in my H1 Pro video a couple of years ago, if you invest in a proper ergonomic chair, you're investing in your health. So the T-shape support system in this E3 chair and all the stuff that I've talked about today is designed to specifically relieve neck, waist and shoulder strain, which is it's three things that you don't think about every day. But if you are sitting incorrectly or you're sitting on a cheap office chair you've had for 10 years from Ikea, you may be doing one of those three things or all three potentially a bit of damage. I think I was, which is why my body keeps making noises when I stand up. So the earlier you can get a chair like this, the better. I've used both of these chairs and they are brilliant for improving posture. I would say, however, that the E3 with its gravity sensing chassis and the three zone lumbar support and those lovely hugging bits here, which I absolutely love, just has the edge. And if you're wondering what it's like to live with a chair like this, like I mentioned earlier, you just need to spend a bit of time, 10, 15 minutes, maybe a bit longer actually, just getting it set up right. Because if you just sit in it and think, okay, that's all right, you probably won't get on with it. If you just spend some time looking in the manual and working out how best to get everything set up for your posture, that is where the magic happens. So the big question is, which one should you go for? I think if you're after a chair that's dynamic and adapts to your posture in real time, the Hibada E3 is a brilliant choice. It's that lumbar support and the gravity sensing chassis, which are genuine game changers. It's such a comfortable chair. On the other hand, the Hinomi H1 Pro still holds up very well after two years with the impressive range of adjustability and that space saving feature where you can fold it over and shove it under your desk. Either way, investing in an ergonomic chair and not spending too much money on it because you do not have to, as you've seen today, is investing in your long-term health, I promise. And both the Hibada E3 and the Hinomi H1 Pro are fantastic choices. We've got both in the studio and they get used every single day. Even if you'll occasionally still see me sitting on that 10 year old Ikea chair here. If you fancy picking up the Hibada E3 yourself, just click that link in the description. And if you've still got some time, hang around for a link to another video, which I think you'll find very interesting.